Hey YouTubers and YouTubers, the Scar Arm CEO here and welcome back to another trailer reaction. And this trailer I'm about to react to is a very well known film that's been uh, made and rebooted and it's the 2018's The Predator, which of course we all know about The Predator, which started off with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Freud, which of course in the first Predator movie it started out with the Special Forces Unit doing a rescue team mission and they ended up in the warmest time of the year, Guatemala, and then by the time they realized they were about to head home, they're getting hunted with an extraterrestrial hunter that wants to hunt down men with special skills and take their skulls attached to their spines as trophies. And uh, so, and we all know when it comes to the near end of the film, they do a last stand battle. They remove their armor, they remove their weapons, they reveal what they actually look like. And we all know the iconic line that everybody's been using. And you all know what that line is. Yeah, that way. And it's also the traditional thing where uh, if the predator fails, they press that little bomb that uh, goes into self-destruct. And obviously, the only human alive that was able to stop the predator, which of course was Arnold Schwarzenegger, by covering his heat signatures with mud that was able to stop him and able to take him down. And he was the last one standing, and the, and the franchise continued on from Predator 2, and then it came to Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator 2, and then the Predators were to get a group of well-skilled soldiers into another planet so they could uh, do a winner-take-all uh, test of battle, test of wit, and uh, of course in the early end of the film only two survivors and they're stuck in that planet. And so this is the new one that's been that will be coming out very shortly, and it was released yesterday. So let's uh, sit back and relax and see what this particular movie has in store for all of the sci-fi fans out there. This version is taking place on Halloween. What? Uh, what? Oh, the kid turned on the stress signal. Okay, kid, that was stupid. And it caused the crash. What? Oh, that's the dude from Logan! You saw something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you men, someone or something tore him to pieces. Ah, there it is. I think they're attempting hybridization. They're upgrading on every planet they visit. We need to know if you pose a threat. We're assassins. Isn't posing a threat kind of important? <laughs> Oh, wow. No, that looked interesting. I mean, as you see at the start of the fall, as uh, the start of the trailer, it's Halloween and uh, a kid gets a package and it's the Predator helmet, the Predator gauntlet, and he actually sent out a stress signal and caused it to crash. Now, how would a kid get a, get a thing like that? And also, uh, apparently, they're probably focusing a story continuing involving from the last Alien vs Predator because you know at the end of the film they do have some of the Predator's technology when the Predator Alien went on a rampage. Because I remember some of it because Alien vs Predator wasn't really my favourite film. The first one was watchable and I don't remember what, much of the second one. But obviously Predator and Predator 2 and Predators are my favourite film because it has some of my favourite people in it and uh, um, Rodriguez that did Predators, he was a fantastic director, he did a lot of cool films, and Predators was actually one of them. And it was really cool that you get to see an easter egg involving the original Predator helmet that you saw in the first film. That is my favourite Predator helmet. And you get to see the, the Predator spin disc that he used in uh, Alien vs Predator. But we all know the first uh, spin disc that he used, which was in Predators 2. 
and I did see some familiar characters uh, in the in this film, which of course was the dude from uh, Logan who had the robotic hand, and uh, then the guy that I just saw, he was in Game of Thrones and he was in John Wick. He played the kid who uh, stole John Wick's car and murdered a dog, which was a very car. And also he's been in other things, and he did a documentary involving football, I think. And I could have sworn I saw the man who played Harvey Dent in The Dark Knight, and the, the girl. The girl with the dark hair, I've seen her before, but you see, when it comes to things like that, it's a blank. So, like, okay, where did this hear from? And then, as soon as I try to figure it out, I realize it's too late because it's no longer on camera. But uh, the story looks really, really interesting. And I wonder, and come to think of it, when it came to that scene where he was opening the box, I thought it was some guy looking up. Uh, uh, things from uh, his grandfather's past or father's past. Like, say, for example, this Predator movie is going to take you all the way back to the first movie and then send straight to the present where his uh, grandson or son finds the truth about uh, Dutch, the, the main guy of the first Predator movie, which was starred by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, that would have been... A good, that would have been a good storyline, but uh, I guess we'll all have to watch and see what's going on with this film. And uh, the amount of things that uh, I did not know until I, until it was popped up online or popped up on Instagram, you know, where he said, uh, fact uh, 101 or uh, something rather with, uh, like with comics or with films. And I did find out this article. But before I found the article, I found out in the first Predator movie, they were going to turn this Predator into a gigantic uh, snapping bug. With, with tentacles, you know, you've seen those very cheesy uh, sci-fi movies back in the day or cheesy comic book renderings of uh, aliens that look like bugs. That was originally what the the Predator was going to look like originally, but until uh, they changed it. But originally they did ask Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, the kickboxer, blood sport icon, who was going to be the Predator, but he was actually in the middle of doing kickboxer. And the director asked him, okay, you have two choices do this film or drop Kickboxer and obviously Van Damme uh, chose Kickboxer which in both their defences uh, choosing Kickboxer was the best choice he ever made because I mean we have like the original Harry from Harry the Henderson played the Predator and he made a little sneak uh, cameo uh, when he was playing uh, the chopper pilot when it came to the end of the film he, uh, and he also did uh, several things as well but um, I also but I originally I uh, remember him as Bigfoot from Her Harry and the Hendersons, one of my fa one of my favorite films, and uh, and also he was um, he played the Predator, which was the first sci-fi character he ever played. Which is also um, Predator is actually more of my favorite sci-fi film more than Aliens. And gratefully enough, I do sometimes watch Aliens. Depends what mood I'm in, and I did watch uh, Alien: The Covenant, where you actually see. Uh, the, the the story that was continued with uh, with um, I can't mind uh, oh I can't I can't mind the the, the first movie they end well which obviously they find this uh, bacteria that turns people into uh, mutated aliens and then the, both the android and the woman who survived went to their planet to see what was going on and then that's when you get to see the android who was. We all know he was working with uh, the weapons division. That always started off from the very, very first one, as we all know. It is the reason that he... And apparently, this droid uh, is either called Adam or M M Michael or something. I can't really remember the names that well. But it was he was also played uh, by Michael, who was also in X-Men and uh, the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, he apparently, in that story... He was responsible for the eggs and the face hugger and the xenomorph aliens that we all know since James Cameron. But obviously, it's not really my yeah, my uh, my favorite sci-fi film. But the Predators are because one, they have better instincts, they have better technology, and they just look plain badass when you think about it. And uh, sometimes the aliens do get smart by taking down the predators, and the predators are a bit smarter because they do focus when it comes to a hunt. Because you do see in Predator 2, you do get to see the skull of uh, one of the aliens that you'll see in Predator 2 in the in near end, the, in the middle of the film, when King Willie gets his head chopped off. 
But um, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video and I hope you all looking forward to seeing the Predator because as I said, I enjoy watching the Predator movie so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So if there's any more reaction videos that uh, you would like me to do because I'm still working on finishing uh, Flash and Arrow because I'm still falling behind and I still have that, um, that court uh, episode I still have the head and post up which hopefully I'll be able to do later on today. And then I have the last few episodes to react to with Arrow and I still have to continue on with um, The Flash because the episode I have to see is Harry and the uh, Hendersons, which I can't call that joke, which of course the hologram Harrys are going to be meeting each other again so they can figure out what's really happening with Harry. That's what I've got so far by looking at it. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video again and I hope you look forward to seeing the movie and I hope you're looking forward to see other reaction videos of mine. So until then, uh, YouTubers and YouTuberettes, I'm Connor, I'm CEO. Thank you and overnight.